Alright the ladies and gentlemen, John Sweet Pea here, bringing you part 11 of my Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition playthrough of the Way Story Mode. And as usual, it's time to look at some comments before I begin. Uh, last time around, Harrison Smith brought up about the query of the 8 Gates formation which Sal Rennett used. And apparently it was not a historical fact, but was actually thought up by Lu Guanzong, who was the original author of the uh, Three Kingdoms stories and such. And apparently it was thought up to make Zuge Leong seem more mysterious. Who's Zuge Leong? We'll find out soon enough, if you don't already know who he is. So, historically Zhu Shu, the strategist that was captured, was part of the battle. And uh, he actually also been asked an interesting question about a spoiler. And the question was, why apparently Gao Jia was supposed to die in Dynasty Warriors 7 after defeating the Wan family, so why is he not dead? Well, I have a simple answer for you. Remember when I tried talking about the uh, story mode, the uh, optional stuff to the stars that was mentioned in the previous part? Well, apparently I've already fulfilled some of those conditions. I looked at this after receiving that query, and it turns out I've already received, and in fact, I've already done one of the optional paths. In particular here, the Battle of the Wong Castle, because we didn't rescue Sao Ang and Sao Ah Min from that little boxed-in area, it enabled the unlocking of this stage, which we went on to. So instead of just going straight to the Guandu Castle, because we had rescued them, we unlocked an additional side mission. So we've already unintentionally taking care of some extra business by um without even trying i mean there's still some extra thing here we have to undo but we've already taken care of one bit of only unlocked an additional mission but to harrison smith's query you can see here at the battle of mount bai Wong, which was the one before last we fulfilled both conditions which says here enabling gao Jiao to escape safely will affect the battle of shi bi which we're about to go to but it also means that he appears in this map. Hence, he was here. So we're probably also going to have an effect in the Battle of Shi Bi, which we're doing today. So that's why Gao Jiar, because we rescued Gao Jiar <coughs> here, he appears here, and I assume he'll appear in this battle as well. So that's why that happened. Just to answer your query. So what other comments were there? Um, oh, Don Castillo also explained what the other half of the map in the last, in the Battle of Xin Yi last time was used for. It was used in the Shu campaign when we get round to them. Which makes total sense, I have no idea why I didn't think of that. Although it does feel a bit weird that half the map is not used for one side's uh, take on it. This is not, not exactly unexpected considering that, um... You know, this has been used in previous games, and in fact, some of his in previous Day Story games and in previous maps weren't used at all, so it shouldn't be much of a surprise for me. Anyway, now that all that commentary has been uh, tackled, uh, let's continue with the Battle of Shi Bi, which is one of the more uh, uh, famous missions in the game. The heroes fought bravely and controlled the battlefield, but they were unable to sway Wu Bei. In, a, in an effort to escape Cao Cao's reach, Wu Bei fed south down the Changjiang. It was believed that he hoped to form an alliance with Sun Quan, who had solidified his power in Jiangdong. These movements were unlike Wu Bei, causing people to believe that he had gained the services of a wise strategist. However, it would make little difference to Cao Cao's ambition. Wu Bei, who had won the hearts of the people during his time wandering the land, and Su Quan, who continued to rule the land of Jiangdong. If such foes were going to conspire against him, then Cao Cao would have little choice but to respond with equal force. Cao Cao formed a massive navy in an effort to seize Jing province from the deceased Lu Biao. Eager to defeat Wu Bei and Su Quan, he advanced his fleet down the Jiangjiang to the areas known as Shibi. One year had passed since the Battle of Xinyi, however there were still turbulent waters to come on his path towards conquest. Cao Cao, together with Zhu Xu and Zhang Liao, advanced his mighty fleet down the river. 
So it's finally time to start fighting Wu. Now we've started to beat up Wu Bei's forces who will become Shu, but now we're tackling head on uh, Wu because this is the infamous mission where Wu and Shu team up to defeat Cao Cao. Because Cao Cao is a big threat. <laughs> Among other many other reasons, and would and the ramifications of this battle would go on later down the line with Wunj. Well, so we had a choice of three to pick from last time: Cao Cao, Zhang Liao, and Zhu Xu. But the one that received the most votes was Zhu Xu, my favorite character. At last, I get a chance to play as him. Should be very interested to see what he's like in this game. I'm expecting nothing but goofiness, considering last time we thought he made a giant hammer. So, Zhu Xu uses a giant club, and this has not changed. Let's see what we have. Ooh, we have a studded club. Wow. That's actually based off his weapon, in, his third weapon in uh, Dice Warriors 3. Hmm, to equip or not to equip? Ah, let's equip it. Might as well. Seems to also have Elements of Fury. Able to use a true Muzu attack at any time. Hmm. So this basically enables us to use true Muzu whenever, similar to the uh, staff item in previous games. Uh, I wonder if we should use that or not, then. Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, screw it. I'll use it anyway. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Stop reminding me. Alright, so then we'll just use... Do we have any... Oh, Inferno, that's just fire damage. Yeah, so, oh, that's the same affinity, so we can't use it. Alright, go for heaven, whatever. Alright, so we'll be using his uh, second upgrade of weapon with unlimited True Muzu, apparently. That will be fun. We'll have to see if True Muzu are whack. Okay, skill-wise, we'll stick to item upgrade. Quick learner. No, don't need that, because your chance to put it No, that's weird. Okay, good recovery. There's different attacks. Mental attacks and uh, there. Okay, so the usual skills. All right, so let's uh, see what Zeus Shoe is like in this game. Okay, let's go and give it our all. Be fun. The wind is picking up. Father, do you believe this battle will end the war? It will. To bring a swift end to this conflict, that is the role of one who walks the path of the conqueror. Hmm. And for those who fail to understand, who flee, who resist, for them, rule was just a dream too large to grasp. My lord, the check of our vessels is complete. We now await the order to advance. Good. My lord, is this wind going to keep on blowing? Mm. Of it, Choo Choo. Mm. Oh, it's nothing. Just something about it makes me feel uneasy. He would not be wrong in that regard. Seems that Zhu Shu seems to know a bit what more than you would think. In truth, Zhu Shu does know a lot more than you think. I've always portrayed as a sort of a giant. Arguably dumb character, he's anything but actually. He is simple minded but not without intelligence. I'm not feeling seasick anymore. It must be because the ships have been chained together. Now I'll be able to give this battle my all. Whoever came up with this idea is a genius. Hmm, yes. I remember one of the big strategies they had to prevent the ships from floating around like idiots was to chain them all up. I let you imagine how that can be a bad thing. However, the chains weak and the ships have broken. If you look closely, they are all rusty. You'd better report that towards Sal Sal. It's a good thing you noticed. Oh, all rusty, huh? I wonder if he'll report it to him in time. Lord Sal Sal conquers the land, and Master Sal P will become... Sorry, I was just thinking ahead. 
Yes, next in line to rule, I'm sure. <clears throat> hey, let me tell you about Ward Salsa. Did you know he has a thing for other people's wives? You should have seen his face when he heard that Zo Yu's wife was beautiful. Well, this is only a rumor. Perhaps it's better to imagine what she looks like rather than be disappointed. <laughs> this again? Jeez. Winning this bar will bring Ward Salsa closer to conquering the land. This is all very exciting. Indeed. It is very reassuring to have Master Grau Jiao around. He's able to see right through the enemy's strategy. Yeah, good thing we saved his ass. It's a shame Master Don Wei perished at Wong Castle. Without him, the safety of our ward is in jeopardy. I think it's been okay for the few missions since, somehow. I think a strategist named Zhu Xu was the one who gave us such a hard time at the Battle of Xin Yi. Apparently, he's only a petty official now. I thought he was quite strong, though. No, oh, he's not. Not in this game universe, anyway. Master Sao Kai Mao is an experienced naval officer. I'm confident we can trust him with our forces in the south. Ah, Cao Hong. Between you and me, I don't trust Master Cao Mao one bit. Did you see the way he tries to flatter his superiors? Yeah, yeah, we've all seen a suck up before. I have a bit of a bad feeling about this wind. Hopefully nothing happens, but... Ah, he has the same feeling, you see? Zushu is right, Gao Jiao is right. That wind is a bad, bad omen. Trust me. You'll see why in a bit. So, our enemy is the combined forces of the Great Wu Clan and Nu Bei. Not a bad opponent at all. Master Guan Yu should be fighting for Wu Bei as well. I hope to get to go up against him. Yeah, I hope so. We will defeat Wu Bei and Sun Quan here in Chibi. If we do, only the weak, indecisive allies remain in our way. This will solidify our military rule. Hmm, we'll see. Alright, the time for talk is over. The time for battle is now. <clears throat> Meaning the fate of to which way the wind blows. Ridiculous. The power of our army is overwhelming. And we have had plenty of practice at naval battles. So, they have no chance of defeating us. Let's go. This battle will bring an end to the chaos. Well, technically you had to actually build up a navy, and Wu technically were the better at being naval, from what I heard, because apparently Wu had better navy, and then Wei had to build up one and practice. But still, you know, it's good to see you're confident in your experience. Alright, let's go! Alright. That's out. Alright, so let's get the officer information first. <coughs> so, we have the EX attack seems to be the uh, just triangle or strong attack twice, then the second attack. The first EX is to is, uh, grab an enemy and give him a mighty slap. <laughs> I can't wait for this already. And the other one is leap into the air and defeat to have a strike after strike with your weapon. And the roll we pull is his Muzu, which is roll up and smash into the enemy. And the aerial is unbeatable, spread out your body out with the air with the enemy. Right. Huh. They come rushing in almost completely void of strategy. Everyone, follow me. We shall scatter the enemy. Alright, so now we will so this is his first attack. Oh, wow, he just rolls at them. So this is his EX. <laughs> Ooh, nice. He's it like a pogo stick. Awesome. So this is his first... This is his first attack. So as you can see, very sort of strength-based with his weaponry. There we go. This is his second attack. Spinning around there. And now for his EX... Second EX attack. <laughs> yep, that was a mighty swap, alright. No doubt about that. Ow! You have been slapped by Zhu Xu. <laughs> oh, we've been counterattacked. Oh, he switched his weapon. We will do likewise. Oh, wow. You left kind of a slam there. 
What? This is Oh, Southeast, do we win the blowing? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. The enemy fire ship has collided with the fleet. Oh no! Fire attack successful! True boozy time! Whoa! <laughs> Oh wow! Roly poly time! Nice! <laughs> Four! <laughs> Golf club style! Oh, we have to escape! The fire attack was successful! Bam! Get out of here! What? You son of a bitch! Wow, this turned very quickly. Now we must get out of here. Uh oh, this is bad. Alright, tongue guy. You may have succeeded burning our entire navy, but I'm gonna make sure that's the last thing you do. Hey, Muzu time! <laughs> wow. Body splash! Oh, looking bad. Oh, definitely. One guy is super... Wait, I thought he was super powered a second ago. Oh, wow, he's got a big shield. <laughs> oh, Taisha Chi is here. Quick, finish him before he gets a chance to use his... Yeah, take that, home guy. Nice. Even though he stole my kill. Kill stealer. Uh oh. Tao Sao's in trouble. Oh god, the bow is rock bottom. Jesus. I did not realize how quick we Oh boy, this is going to, this is getting up oh shit, where is Ah, where the hell are we going? Uh oh, now it's Taisha Chi's turn. Is it his fifth move? Wow. Okay, so now Sal appears to be safe here. We'll have to, about to stay here and guard it. Alright. Come on. Ah, I'm trying to storm bush him. Yes. Get him. Get him. Now Han Dong has shown up. Previously, Han Dong was a generic officer. Not anymore. Oh. Need to be careful. Whoop. I have to take down Taisha Chi first. Wow. Zushu is pretty much playing exactly as I'd expect him to. We have to move him kind of here. Alright, we will do. As soon as I kill off these scumbags. Well, yeah, I don't know what previously was a generic officer, but he became playable some. I don't think. I think it maybe it was seven it was playable as. I don't know. I want to bitch slap him. If I can. Pow! Take that, you clown. So, as you'd expect, Zushu's attacks it. Get out of here! <coughs> oh, I'm not going just yet. I'm going to kill a few people before we retreat. This is pretty unexpected, really. I wasn't expecting the battle to suddenly quickly turn. We didn't have much of a naval fight. It was just the fire attack succeeded, and now we're in trouble. <laughs> I love this attack. <laughs> as ridiculous and as strong as I'd expect, you know. Slow attacks, but very powerful. Try to break his guard here. There we go. Got him. Oh. No, turn around! Oh, we got him anyway, somehow. I like that aerial uh, swipe that does an AOE on the ground. It's pretty good. I just realized we're doing not much damage to him, even though we're using our second tier weapon. It looks like the uh, officer's HP is catching up a bit. Nice. Now we 
Now we can escape. If we want. Looks like we're going to have to. Come on then, let's go. Whoa. Uh oh. Looks like it's... Oh god, Gunning has shown up. The pirates. Oh really, he weren't even out of... There was a passageway. Now, Gunning in previous Dice Warriors games had a very powerful Muzu attack. Still, pretty stupid of him to go along with this. You know, one versus four, Gunning. I think you need to rethink your strategy. You may be a fierce pirate captain, but... Oh, he's switching. Got him. Uh-oh! That's his Muzu, I think. No, it's not. That's someone else's Muzu. Ah! Four! Oh, cool. We're moving the ship as we are on it. That's cool. What are you turning into the walls for? <laughs> I'm turning into the walls! Yeah! Uh oh, Wu Bei has us cornered. Oh God, and Sun Shan Jiang is there. This was all the plan. Burn our ships, woo him to Wu Bei and Sun Shan Jiang. What's a Wu girl doing with Wu Bei? Hmm. I won't spoil, but there's a bit of a story between these two. Not just randomly placed her. We'll, find, we'll probably find out more about that in the Wu campaign, or maybe the Shu one. Probably both, to be honest. Bully Bully time! What's count, huh? Okay, let's see how you match up Bow versus Giant Club. Yeah, also the damage is starting to peter out quite nicely now. Keep in mind, this is my second weapon. The, F the HP is at least making this seem a bit last a bit longer. Although we are outnumbering them quite sufficiently. As you can see, Shun Shen Jiang is still using her chakrams. Not a bow. Although she was fabled for using a bow, a weapon in game is always the chakram, it seems. She doesn't do like a Zahu 1 and start using a 4 and level up. Which means we can finally use our second Muzu attack now, I think. We must continue north up this road and head for Nanjun. I expect all of you to make it out of here alive. Alright, we can head to the escape points. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. I'm gonna quickly check if we can use the second Muzu now. Ah, we can. We have our Muzu attack 2 on what? Now level 25. The Rage Spike. Grab an enemy, roll him into a ball, and run several devastating blows. Alright. So we have to hold... I think we have to hold down the strong attack for this one, if I remember. So we'll try out this... Oh, no. Not now, Shang Fei. Actually, perfect timing. Now I can test out my ultimate second Muzu attack. Yep, of course. Sure, Guan Yu will be coming along at some point. Not quite sure why Wu Bei was the first in line of these guys. You think he'd be the last in line, but. Hey, look at all the Wu forces over there. Doing absolutely nothing. Alright. Bam. Okay. Now let's test out the. Uh, rage Spike. Oh. Damn it. I don't think that was it. Alright, let's try another. What? What button is it? Ah! Oh, I'm getting the buttons wrong. Oh! Ow! Jesus! How much health did he just take off there? Holy crap! That must have been his Muzu! Holy shit! Don't get caught by Muzu strikes from these guys. They wreck your health! The thing I thought this was going to be easy. Ouch! I took off white. Off of this. Uh, we're in trouble. We need to 
try and expedite our retreat. Now, let your <coughs> oh, no, now rocks. Ah. I forget what we need to do. I'll make you stop before you hurt somebody. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. I thought we could go this way or something. But no. Our target is down south. Archers, fire away. Uh oh, boulders and arrows. I won't let a single arrow touch you, Lord South South. We need to defeat the archers and the uh Oh, this is looking bad. I think I'll make us into him save at this point, just in case. Alright, Mizu. Time to perish. So I wonder what the alternate attack is. I seem to have forgotten what you have to hold down to trigger the... Uh, ult maybe it's maybe it's the weapon switch button. I'll have to see. I'll try weapon switch. Oh, there's meat bang. Alright, I'll try weapon switch then. Here we go! We got it! Boom! <laughs> I don't think the uh, hitbox is lined up for that one, but yep, yeah, it appears weapon switch is the bodyguard to press for the alternate attack. Oh, nice! Got him. Huh. Alright. Goodbye, rock attack units. Oh, I'm not down there. Ah, damn counter. Get out of here. Slap. I really like this crap where you just whack someone with a golf club. It's so good. Yeah, victory cry 10. Yes, we have. Good. That takes care of the archers and so forth. Hmm. I wonder if we should take care of the rear guard unit. Chen Kuang has fled. Oh boy. Oh, here comes Poster Boy again. Damn right you do. You heard the man, he's gonna blow you away, dude. Oh, I missed. Alright. Oh, he missed the golf club. Doesn't matter, he's down. He's out. Oh, wow, look at that. That's quite a royal uh, pathway there. Blue Dyer's fled, so that takes care of all the forces from the south. I feel sorry for all the way forces stuck on the ship still. So there's quite a few people still on those ships. If you look at the center of the map. Oh no. It's one you're going to show up now. So also looks a bit tired. Hmm. Ah, yes. Master Guan Yu, you would harm my lord, not while I'm here. That might have been my intention at another time. Huh, what? Today, however, my honor will not allow it. <laughs> lord Cao Cao, Zhang Liao, until we meet again in battle. Huh. So all that, he just I says... have been defeated. Utterly defeated. Yet, you still live. You are right. This chaos shall continue. For a while yet. So we finally have our first loss. As you can see. Oh. 
Oh, whoops. Uh, yes, because I want to see who the next character is. I want to see that next time. Is this? Um, yeah, I just want to see who's... Oh, no, don't tell me I fucking missed a fucking thing. God fucking damn it. I thought that was just going to transition to the next scene. Ugh! I thought that was just a transition to the next battle. I didn't realize there was a mid... Ugh! God, that annoys me so much. And who are you? <laughs> Wong Yi, apparently. Oh, God, I feel like I've just missed a cutscene or something. Ugh. Shit. No! <laughs> I didn't want to skip. I thought that was just like something we... Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get to see it again, though. I really hope we get to re-see that the next time around or something. If not, I'll add it on the end or something. Oh, God. I can't believe I might just have actually skipped the cutscene. Like, that's bad. Well, what I'll do is... Um, if it turns out that I don't get to re-see whatever that was, I'll... Uh, <clears throat> I will, um, I'll find a way to put it at the start of the video for next time or something, or I'll splice it in or whatever. Alright, so, it looks like the next battle is going to be the Battle of Tong Gate. Um, looks like we're going to be choosing from three people. This newcomer, Wong Li, I've never seen before in my life, so this is a completely new, and our first female pick as well, so, going to pick her. Or do you want to see Zhu Xu in action once again? Or are we going back to the first person we played as, Zahu Wan? Looks like two old characters and a new one. The Battle of Tong Gate. What do you think of the Battle of Shi Bi? I wasn't quite expecting it to end that quickly. Um, at all, in fact. And, um... Yeah, it was pretty surprising. I went from setting up this massive naval battle to being... Retreat! Retreat! Kind of interesting. And what do you think is going to happen next time at the Battle of Tong Gate? Who will our opponent be? What exciting things will happen? And who the heck is this girl? Guess we'll maybe find out a bit more about her next time. Let me know who you want to see and want me to play as in any comments below. And I'll catch you all next time for the Battle of Tong Gate. Next time, based on your fans, where I hope we not, where I hope we don't skip any more cutscenes by accident. Next time.